Meanwhile, you've also got a chilling new threat mm -hmm. from ISIS to tell you about this morning. The terror group calling for lone wolves to kill, quote, non-believers and to use any means necessary. Both stories covered by our national security correspondent, Jennifer Griffin of the Pentagon. Jennifer, good morning to you. How, how, first on the Afghan soldiers, how did this happen? How concerned are they at the Pentagon? Well, Bill, Pentagon officials are not concerned that the three missing Afghan soldiers are part of a cell that plans to cause harm in the United States, but they would like to know where they are. The three members of the Afghan National Army went missing on September 11th during a training exercise at Camp Edwards, a Cape Cod military base. They were last seen in Hyannis at the Cape Cod Mall. They were participating in an annual CENTCOM training exercise that involves 200 participants from six different countries, law enforcement and military police are looking for the three missing Afghans, hoping they will turn themselves in. This kind of thing used to happen a lot during the Iraq war, Bill, when the U.S. would bring Iraqi soldiers to the U.S. for training and some would sneak off the base and try to emigrate. Many just wanted a better life and did not want to return to the war zone. Wow. Now on ISIS, what more can you tell us about this new and chilling propaganda video that's there? This is an audio tape that was released on Sunday by a spokesman for ISIS, the so-called Islamic State, urging Muslims to attack disbelievers, as they call them, by any means necessary. We have chosen not to play the tape because it's pure propaganda, as you mentioned, as are all of the tapes released by ISIS, designed simply to instill fear. The spokesman addresses America, its allies, and the crusaders, they call them. The message was released by Twitter, which really begs the question, according to U.S. intelligence experts, as to why YouTube and Twitter still allow ISIS to disseminate these hateful recordings using the social networking sites. The spokesman for ISIS has especially harsh words for the French, who became the first ally to join the U.S. in airstrikes this weekend in Iraq. Bill. Jennifer Griffin, thanks. Live from the Pentagon this morning. Thank you, Jennifer.